Hey, what's going what's going on YouTube? I'm at the Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Samsung Mobile 500. I apologize if my camera angle's a little bit off, but we're not going to but that's not going to stop us from having an incredible race. So So without further ado, let's get this party started. So I start on the pole with Greg Biffle second, Dale Hart Jr. third. Matt Tony Stewart fourth and Kurt Busch fifth and Matt Kenseth sixth. So the pace car is off and the green flag is out. We are underway at Texas. It's a 17 lap race so who is going to go to victory lane? Well, we're going to find out very shortly. Well, I did not get a good corner. Oh, Matt Kenseth is going to... Oh, Matt Kenseth already slams the door shut. And now look at all the spots I just lost. On the very first lap of the race, Biffle will lead that lap. And now Kurt Busch to the lead. As he will lead, hopefully, and will try to lead the second lap. Look at all the spots I just lost from that map, from that low accident right there. Oh, and Biffle gets in trouble. No caution as we uh, salute Dale Earnhardt for the third lap of the race. And Tony Stewart leads the fourth lap of the race. And now Tony Stewart's going to be getting a huge moment. He's going to get a huge battle from, from me as I take the lead from Tony Stewart here at Texas. Despite being, despite, and now my car is all damaged on the right side, but that's okay. I'm not concerned about that. I'm just concerned about winning. As we're on board. As I lead that lap, Kevin Harvick leads the elite and is now the fastest car on the track. Joe Logano second, Stewart third, and Martin Chuex Jr. in fourth. Well, now it's Logano second, Chuex third, and Stewart fourth. And now Logano inside and now about to take second, and he's coming in a hurry. Wow, I really got a good a good corner off that time. Next time by will be 11 to go. And everybody will have to make a pit stop in order for everyone to make it to the end. Unless we get a caution now, we all have to come in. And now Logano getting a huge run. And he's bringing Kurt Busch with them. With Ryan Newman up the fourth. And now I'm going to be in Logano's lane right now. That way he doesn't get any momentum behind me. But now here he comes and I'm in the wall. Here goes Logano on the inside of possibly taking the lead from me. Logano staying right on my back bumper. And now you hear it, folks. Ten laps to go. Wow, look, at, look at this. This is a good battle for the lead. These guys are staying right on my tail. I think Logano might get me. Oh, here comes Ryan Newman on the back of me. And here goes Logano to the inside for the lead. Oh, we got ourselves a good finish now. And Jeff Gordon is in this mix. Where did he come from? How about that? Jeff Gorn inside and in now inside now up to four. With Lega running behind Logano. I thought that twenty four was not gonna be a threat to win, but it looks like the twenty four of Jeff Gorn has got a shot to win it. 
Oh, I got tight off that corner. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. That was close. Oh, and now I get into Newman, and he brushes the outside wall. Everybody's got to stand out. Oh, and, oh, I think new. Oh, look at this. Three wide for second, and I brushed the wall again. Damn it. Sorry about that, folks, but... I was just so much distracted, I forgot there's a battle for second, and they're trying to go after me, because I got a car that could win it. Kyle Busch set the fastest lap of the race, which is seven laps to go. Are we going to see anybody on pit road? Oh, I got it. Oh, I had to get out of the gas. Look at Stewart all the way to the inside. Uh, possibly trying to take second, but I slammed the door shut, and now I'm back behind Logano. No, and I get into Logano. And the caution comes out. And I'm involved, too. Caution will wave. And the caution comes out. That was my fault right there. I actually got really, really tight. I got, I, I actually messed the corner up and I get into Logano. Oh, and into Kyle Busch slams into the back of him. Trevor Baines got damaged. Oh, and a big, oh, a scary, oh. A lot of good drivers all torn up. That was my fault right there. That was, I'll take the blame. That was my fault right there. Well, now that the old flag is now out, everybody's going to have to come in. And with this yellow flag now, everybody's going to have to come down pit road, but Martin Truex is staying out. I don't know that's a good move. Everybody else is not pitting. Well, except for everybody on back, they're coming in. But a lot of these drivers are not pitting. Oh, it could be either the game glitch or they're going to come back in the next time around. Well, that may not help them. Because otherwise you need fuel in order to make it. And I don't think they're going to have enough fuel. Okay, let's gas her up. Let's get some fresh tires on. Alright, let's move this. In and out. And I'm going to have to repair this so that way I have a car to win. And I'm not taking two. If I take two tires, that's going to be a bad, bad call. Alright, I am on pit road. That's a four tire stop. Everybody will have to come back in next time around. That's what that's probably what the that's probably what they're what they're doing. I'm gonna fill up go back to the other side, fill them up with fuel. And now and now the last tire is done. And now we're alpha and off of pit road. And look at that, I'm inside the, I'm inside, I'm in second place. Yeah, everyone came in. I think they all decided to come back in. I guess might be a glitch or something. Wow, Truex got a good start. I got a terrible restart. And now look at all the posi- And now I'm back to third, and now I'm going to possibly lose a lot of spots now because of that. But I go- about, now I'm down low, and now I'm going to try to stay down low on the track as we are now coming to four to go. Look at Jeff Gordon getting a good run. Kyle Busch has got a lot of damage, but look at him staying in this race. Oh, I got loose. Oh, I got tight again. Three to four to go. I don't have I don't have to worry about fuel. Now let's just go out there and try to beat those guys. As long as it's not like Joey Logano and the Penske Bunch, I'll be just fine. Because obviously, and now look at Newman getting a good run. Oh, look at Newman got a good run. Martin Truex Jr. to the lean with three to go. And now there go, and here I come, passing them both in one lap to take back the lead with just three laps to go. Oh, but look at Truex. He got a good run. Here he comes on the inside of taking the lead. And there goes Jeff Gorn on the outside getting a strong push from Jeff Burton. And now I clear him. And now here we come to two laps to go. Next time by will be the white flag. Oh, 
I messed up the corner. Oh, I'm going to lose a lot of spots on this one. Austin Dillon, where did he come from up to four? Oh, and I get into him. And now they're three wide. And, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm all the way up, and now I'm into the wall. Oh, I just messed this race up, and the white flag is out. Oh, no. That was not what I wanted. Oh, what a tough break. Oh, man, it looks like I'm not going to victory lane in this race either. Oh, what a terrible break. And it's not going to matter. I'm going to try to hold on inside the top ten. But the checker flag is out, and Jeff Gorn is going to win it. Oh, and I get passed for eighth. Oh, and Clint Boyer took that spot. Well, I'll have to take an eighth place finish. Ah, oh, dang. Now that's what I'm about. A lot of on the board. Nice job, man. Nice so job. Jeff Gordon takes the spot, takes the checkered flag. He let, and he had the fastest lap of the day too. So obviously he gets the whammy. I led the most laps. I don't go to victory lane. Wow, what a tough break. Oh, man, I had that race won. Oh, I had it, and I blew it at the last second on the with two to go. My car got tight. It just got junk on me. I could not turn it, and now I finished eighth. Damn. But that's part of racing. You know, you win, you lose. You don't win. But, hey, now I got to worry about next week. So now that's my fifth win of the year. So I still lead the points lead by only 50 points, and it's a tie for second. So Jimmy Johnson would have the tiebreaker because of most wins of most top 10. It's now a tie, so actually it is a tie. And Danny Hamlin's got one win. And it looks like Jeff Gorn has got a win, so now he adds two positions, so now he's two positions away from being inside the chase with the Sprint Cup. Otherwise, I've won all but two win. All but two. All but two. Which means Jeff Gorn let one at Texas, so he's in. And did anybody else win? Nope. Everybody is not one, but me and Ham, me, Hamlin and Gordon got a win. So that means now Jeff's got to get another win. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that race. That's going to do it for this episode of the NASCAR 14 Let's Play from Texas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and more, or add me on Facebook. And, of course, follow me on Spotify and, and listen to some of my great music. So thank you guys for watching. And in the words of my friend L.A. Beast, have a good day.